Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope everybody is doing good. Let me tell you a very interesting story. You know, I have to send a very personal message to this Nas daily. But let me update you about what happened to a Syrian guy who was stuck in the airport for the past seven months. You know, he was stuck in the airport even though Malaysian authority gave him opportunity to come into to Malaysia as a refugee. And sisters from Malaysia, they even offer him marriage. And Nas Daily, who came from somewhere far and who couldn't enter Malaysia because Malaysian law does not allow Israeli passport to enter to that country. So out of that frustration, he made a video four minutes long and suggesting things which were not correct. He said there was no help from the Malaysian authority and that's not true. He even made jokes of the food for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which other country will allow a person to stay in that airport and going around on social media, on international outlet and speaking about that I'm stuck in Malaysia. Do you see how, what kind of name that he is portraying this Hassan? I, I don't blame him. I mean, that's not the subject that I want to talk about him. No, because he is a victim. So I don't blame him. I blame Nas Daily. So because of that, Malaysians, mashallah, they're the most amazing people I've ever met. I spent five years in Malaysia. They felt kind of, you know, self-respect. What's going on with the people? Look at our kindness and what they are doing in return. Nas Daily, in his video, he said there are only two options. He had two options ahead of him. Go home to Syria and be thrown in jail. Or option two, live in this airport. But no, there are no only two options. Malaysian gave them more options. You can stay, come into work as a refugee. But he says, no, only Canada. That's his personal choice. I don't have to talk about it. But the point I want to make is, Nas Daily, you have to be honest to the things. I know you're promoting some fake sort of positivity and trying to normalize Israelis' relationship with the rest of the world. That's one of the strategies Israel is using to normalize their relationship in their names, in their citizen, to the rest of the world. And the best they can do is to launch such projects. For that, I'm going to speak about in a different video. That's not a topic, but the topic is today that guy is in the arrest. Why? He's been arrested and he will be deported back to Syria. I hope he's safe. I don't blame Malaysian authorities because if I were in their position, I would do the same thing. I blame Nas Daily for this. And I blame the other media outlet who did not appreciate the Malaysian hospitality and what they did for him. Trust me, no Arab country, no one else will allow someone to stay in the airport for seven months, give him food. And that person is going on social media, going on television outlet, BBC, CNN, and speaking things that are not correct. So of course, there will be a reaction from the hosting country. Trust me, Malaysians are amazing. Let me tell you a few stories. When I was visiting Malaysia this July, and the airport guy, the immigration, when I was leaving, he said, where are you going back? I said, I'm going to Afghanistan because I'm going to fly back to Germany. And he told me, is it safe? Can you see the concern they have, the love, the compassion? Is it safe? He asked me a few other questions. He doesn't need to ask these questions, right? He doesn't need to show that concern, but that shows how kind they are. I, my account was closed and there was some little problem with my online account as well. I called the bank and I called them a few times and they noticed I'm calling them a few times. I can't reach them properly. Trust me, the bank manager, he gave me a personal number, WhatsApp number. He said, you can speak to me through WhatsApp because I don't want to be in trouble and I don't want you to call and we don't answer them properly. So do you see the, the humanity, the love, the compassion they're showing to the rest of us and then we go there and we insult them and we give them names that are not correct. So. Thanks to Nas Daily for sending Hassan back to Syria.